É isso aí, TV Local, fazendo a cobertura aqui da festa da Rádio Costa Verde, aqui no sítio Duros na Queda, em Santa Cruz. Estamos aqui com a atração internacional, né? Primeira vez aqui em Santa Cruz, Ornella, que está fazendo um grande sucesso. Vou conversar com ela aqui em inglês, porque ela é alemã, né? Mora na Itália e tal, então a gente vai ter que conversar em inglês para vocês aí, para traduzir para vocês. E vamos conversar com ela para saber um pouquinho sobre essa meteórica carreira né, da Ornella aqui no Brasil. Ornella, welcome to TV Local. Hello, nice to meet you too. Let's talk about your meteoric career in Brazil. Né? Tell us about uh, this uh, um, part of your life. This part of my life. Okay, my my, my career is still in the beginning. So I, I will I will tell you the story how how it began. So I I'm living in Germany, and uh, there I was I was working with my boyfriend in one holiday park. I don't know if you know that. And because he's an artist too. And I was I was record one song from him. It's called Sofre de Amor. Sofre de Amor. Sofre de Amor. Yes, I am. And in Germany. In in German? You no, you were in Germany. Yes, I was working in Germany. And you wrote a song in Portuguese? No, it was my boyfriend who wrote the song. Oh, I see. I record a demo for him. And so this music was was thrown by hands to to these producers here in Brazil, my pr producers now. And. Uh, Many many people from uh, friends from them also own my my music, my voice, and uh, also Belo was listening, and he liked it very much, and so he he be in contact with with, with these people here, the, the producers, and I I have to say that 2005 I was listening the first time Belo on DVD there in Germany. Be Belo in G in Germany, you bought a DVD. Yes, no, my boyfriend. Here you are in Santa Cruz, and um, it, you didn't expect this uh, success to blow up like so in, in, so fast. Uh, how, how, how long how long ago did you write this song, the one that is on the number one now in the, in the Brazilian parade? This song, the song has been written, I think, four months ago, three months ago. It's, it's, it's very very young. This song. But uh, it's not me I the song, it was some of them. It was the producer, Umberto Tavares, um, it was, oh, what was the name, uh, Alexandre Lucas and Douglas and Rafael. He wrote the song. He wrote that song, yes. And I just recorded it, but I recorded it with my heart and soul, because I, I love the song. No, you sing pretty well. I just saw you uh, singing... Uh American song in, on the stage now is beautiful. You've got a beautiful voice, and I'm sure all the songs that you go to sing is gonna sound good. Uh, and you're planning to launch a, a Brazilian career, uh, write more songs, and stay in Brazil for a while, or what you think going to Germany? What are you, what are you planning for this near future? And 
Do uh, you, you have any partnership in this uh, new album? You can advance to us? Surprise, surprise. Which other artists, uh, Brazilian artists, that you recognize are as... Um, that you, you, you have a link to them some, somehow, musical link uh, nowadays? So, so you mean uh, which, which uh, other artists from Brazil I like or... That you would, that would like to record with? Oh, there are many, many, many artists. I, I like, I very like G Black, who was here before. G Black was just here, I'm gonna talk to him later. <laughs> What's the first time? party that uh, Costa Verde launched here in this club, uh, Revela Revelação was present, sang, and uh, tonight uh, they will be here to uh, play a complete show. So you're going to have uh, the chance to talk to them and maybe just invite them to record with you. <laughs> I hope so. I, I don't know uh, how much time we are staying here. But if I have the chance, I will. Yeah, if you hang around for a while, you're probably going to meet the guys here. They'll be, they'll be arriving any minute. They're playing here tonight, and um, so um, well, it's uh, I guess a little bit uh, uh, about your personal life. You are you still with this boyfriend, uh, or you're single? What are the guys there who, who, who know from you now? Are you single? Are you available? Or are you just getting married? Uh, what is your marital status right now? Unfortunately, I'm with a boyfriend. Unfortunately, what? I don't know for somebody now. <laughs> Fortunately. Yeah, because many artists prefer to be uh, single uh, during their you know, career and then when they say, I'm now going to settle down and stick it with a boyfriend and maybe make some plans. But uh, I guess you're just starting and you, you weren't ready for this and then you just boom. This song just blew up and everybody now wants to listen to calling the, the radio all the time and uh, you're there in the top 10. Top 10 or number one? Number one! <laughs> number one! Oh my god, I'm a little updated, you know, outdated here. But uh, I'm sure you're gonna uh, have many more songs and I'm sure I'm gonna be like D Black who has just talked to him very many times. And I'm sure we've been talking to you and, uh, about the new songs. Can you uh, tell the name of this, the, the, the best song from your new album? Do you have the, the, your, the one that you prefer? Then there are so much songs. But I'm a little bit, my, my own style is a little bit romantic. I'm a romantic girl. I love every kind of romantic movies. I, I cry. I'm, I'm, I'm very emotional. So I prefer uh, a romantic song. and. Uh, this one from your album, yeah, what's your favorite? Eu, você, mais eu. Eu, você, mais eu. Eu, você, mais eu. Vou ser mais eu. Oh, eu vou ser mais eu. See. Very nice. Well, we had a chat here with Ornella, uh, number one in the music chart in Brazil. And uh, we all, from Zona Oeste, from Rio de Janeiro, we all wish you the best. Okay? Thank you so much. It was a pleasure to meet you. Okay, pessoal. Até a próxima. Tchau.